Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. In the previous episode we have built this arbitrary farm, including a bunch of distillers, petroleum generators and everything else that is necessary for a successful cycle. We can see the arbor trees have already grown, they are now growing out their branches, so soon enough hopefully we will see some activity. In the meantime, I will still have to micromanage it a little bit. In today's episode I would like to uncover this volcano in order to build a mini petroleum generator. We do not really need the petroleum to be quite frank with you, but you know, it's a fun project and I think we can do it. Now, the first thing I want to do is take this apart and then I want to go ahead and analyze this as soon as possible. I've actually already initiated it. I want to figure out as quickly as possible how much time I have until this volcano actually erupts so we can prepare ourselves. Maybe I should mention petroleum boiler simply means we're gonna take our oil that I currently haven't hooked up but this would be the oil line and we want to heat up the oil to the point where it becomes petroleum, cool it down again so that we can use it for other projects. And of course we're gonna achieve that with the magma power. At the moment the volcano is dormant, let's hope this is actually gonna remain that way. I also want to make sure I pick up everything as quickly as possible and we also want to start building tiles. We're gonna need ceramic, at least wherever we suspect the magma is going to touch. Now the way magma flows is sometimes a little bit confusing. As a rule of thumb, I believe it requires about 250 kilograms or so of material before it starts flowing over and it can do that for a maximum of 11 tiles. So up to this point the magma should be flowing and then obviously another thing we will have to do is enclose the volcano. We want to have this in a complete vacuum so that none of the heat can escape. Actually thinking about this, the last tile right here where the magma is gonna stop flowing, I want to be a metal tile. We're gonna use steel for that. So this is where we are going to capture the heat of the magma and because it is only very little magma accumulating in this tile, it's not going to solidify in an entire tile. It will just be converted into a resource resting on this block. We should probably also take apart the ladders in preparation and then build more tiles. Yeah, the top portion right here I'm gonna build out of igneous rock because that shouldn't matter anymore. However, we're still gonna need a whole bunch more ceramic, so let's get crafting here. Nails is already going for it, analyzing the volcano. I just hope I have enough cycles in order to prepare myself. Let's actually check the power cable. It's all the way over here, not very advantageous. I'm temporarily gonna set up one of these power transformers, hook that up to our heavy watt wire, give it something to stand on and then we can drag one of these cheap cables to our pumps that we have to place here to make a vacuum. We can already set up the pumps so we have this out of the way. Maybe I'm gonna wait with this tile just a bit. Gonna pump everything out here with a high gas pressure vent. It actually says analysis completed, however I can still not see the active period. That is a little bit of a bummer, because it could explode at any time. Maybe another thing we can already prepare is a liquid lock, definitely gonna need that. And then we somehow need to have the ability to transfer the heat. By moving everything one block over, what we could do is have two more of these tiles and then we can have an insulated layer in between. That would probably also have to be ceramic, at least this single tile here. And then on the other side we could have a door. However, before I do that, I still want to be able to get into the contraption and build everything and we might instead want to set up a bottle emptier here so we can already do the liquid lock. Oh, okay, there it actually is. Oh dear, 3.5 cycles. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. So I think we will have to stop picking up these materials. That's not going to be important. I want to get rid of these and then I want to finish this as soon as possible. I need to get this vacuumed out before the first eruption. So two more ceramic tiles, that's good. And then I guess we can get rid of this layer and just build it one more down. Shouldn't be too much of an issue so we can still pick up the materials. I'm gonna fill this bit up with petroleum. We wanna grab all the materials from here, that's for sure. But yeah, we're actually almost there now. We might just make it. <sighs> okay, finally the pumps are going for it. Oh, it's actually going really quickly. And we only have one cycle left to wrap this up. Oh dear. 
Come on, guys. You can do this quicker. Why does it always have to be this close? 0.8 cycles left and we're down to the micrograms at least. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. We have a vacuum on the right side. Let's check this out. I should have put the pump right there. This would have been a lot better. I think it's disappearing now. I'm not 100% sure. One microgram. Okay, it's disappearing. Let's go ahead and rip everything apart as quickly as possible, guys. Everyone needs to work on this. And then we also want to pick up all the materials so they are not wasted. I think we can actually do it now. Uh, oh, oh, that's not good. I totally... Wh what's going on here? What? How is this even possible? That is just incredible. We, we got steam and stuff all over the... Can I save you, actually? Hold the phone. I'm not sure. Gossman, uh, you need to save Joshua, if that's possible. <laughs> Personal needs rescue friend. Yes, do, do that. Get up and rescue Joshua. <laughs> okay, okay. We got him. We got him. Back into the bed you go. Okay. Well, that was lucky. In the meantime, not really making progress picking up everything. Maybe let's forget about this portion. This is the most important part. This is where the lava is gonna flow. Uh, looks like we have a little bit of extra time. It actually only erupts for 50 seconds every 8,000 seconds. That's crazy. Oh, check this out. We actually have some of our distilleries going for it. That is nice. We had our first harvest and now the ethanol distillers are doing their job. Therefore also the petroleum generators. And the entire system is in motion now. That's phenomenal. Yeah, the cooling system at the moment isn't quite working the way I wanted it to. If I were to rebuild this, I would make sure the cooling system goes through all of the tiles at the bottom. So either we build these petroleum generators out of a different material or we have a better cooling system. Maybe also a temp shift plate would have worked. Max, wonderful. The last piece has been picked up and just in the nick of time. We wouldn't have made it without the extra time there. But now we can set up a mechanized airlock. This will have to be built out of steel and it's gonna go right there. We also want a couple more ceramic tiles in order to fill this up. At least the bottom one needs to be ceramic. The top one can be anything, I think. So magma is gonna come up to this spot. It's gonna be converted into items once it is chilled down enough. We can transfer the heat over to our mechanized airlock and then on the top here we can start boiling up some stuff. So maybe this tile right here should also be a steel tile right there. Then maybe at the top here we want to have a chamber. Now I'm not sure how large this actually needs to be. Hmm, let's maybe make it large enough just so that we don't get any overpressure. But let's say we pump in some oil right here and then we put them on both of these steel tiles. We check the temperature in order to open and close the door so we can get more heat. At a temperature of 400 it's gonna be converted into petroleum and then we need to make it flow out and cool down with the already incoming oil. Now let's actually make this large enough. I'm gonna go with about five tiles of height. So right here I want the liquid to drop out. So we're gonna fabricate a chamber, something along these lines. Actually, let's make this nice and even. Wonderful. We should now be able to hop over to the other world and get the oil going once again. So I would like to disconnect this and reconnect my oil pipe. Turner actually got himself stuck. Maybe let's take apart these two tiles and then this one here and hopefully it's gonna drop down. Yes. Gossman, don't make the same mistake. Ah oh, no, <laughs> Go, get out of there. Okay, okay, he's fine. <laughs> okay, just to plan ahead, we need a way to drop the oil that is gonna go right here. It's gonna drop on this tile, then it's gonna be converted to petroleum. Petroleum is lighter than oil or less dense. So the oil is naturally gonna stay at the bottom. Once we have accumulated enough petroleum, it is gonna swap over and then we need to have a way for it to flow down naturally with the gravity, being cooled down by the incoming oil. I'm not 100% sure about the ratio, so how many tiles do we actually need in order to heat it up efficiently? Doesn't need to be the most efficient, but I don't wanna make it too short or too long. Too short means we are wasting a lot of our magma energy and too long means the oil might be converted to petroleum before it reaches the end. Volcano is almost ready to erupt. I'm really curious as to how much material we will be getting from those 50 seconds. 
Alrighty, the moment of truth has arrived. The volcano should be erupting. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now, honestly, it looks like a lot of mass that is being shipped here in those 50 seconds. So that is definitely going a little bit quicker than I anticipated. I hope somebody is actually coming to build this. Oh no, do I have to worry about this? I thought it might not actually come this far during the first eruption. Don't do this to me. Come on, uh, Ruby, you, you have a more pressing issue right now. Nails, okay, we are taking apart the door. That works too. Wonderful. <laughs> Okay, I think that was actually everything. Erupts in another 13 cycles. Oh, we have a lot of time between the eruptions. This is insane. Okay, there we go. We should now be able to add the door again. I'm just gonna use the switch in order to keep the door open and then we can keep on building this contraption. Actually, what we need here first is a thermosensor. Gonna attach that right here and I'm gonna set that to approximately 400 degrees in order to heat up the oil we're inputting. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether or not we need to have a vacuum in this place. And as mentioned, I don't know how long the tubing needs to be. Anyhow, what we're gonna end up doing is something like that. Let's maybe go with nine tiles in each direction. And then we would be letting it drop down, go nine tiles into the other direction, let it drop down again. And then maybe here at the very end, we're gonna let it drop on the floor and we will be able to pick it up again. Now, this is not the most convenient entrance, I have to admit. Maybe we should have built it into the other direction. So into the other direction, we also don't really have the space for it. Yeah, let's go with this idea and we're gonna drop it down somewhere here. We can probably get rid of this power generation setup. Not gonna need that anymore. Also, we don't need the pressure vent there. Maybe another wall we can already build is the one up here. This is good. And then, hmm, we kind of want to contain the heat, don't we? Maybe we don't even need to make this area particularly accessible. So that means eventually we're going to get out here and we are going to close this entire area off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move everything a little bit upwards. So we are at this level with the flooring. Also going to have my vent over there. And then we can have even more wiggly bits. There, we are actually harvesting some lumber. This is wonderful. That means all the machinery can work and the cycle can restart. Now, there's something else in terms of automation we have to take care of. We want a liquid element sensor and we want to put it about on the third tile upwards. This is going to be set to detect oil. And if we don't have oil, then I want to have this liquid vent opened up. However, if we do have some oil in here, that means we have accumulated enough oil for the time being and we need to ensure it gets heated up before we add new and new oil. So we detect oil. That means we want to set up a knot gate and close the vent. Now, actually, before I close off everything here, we need to build the piping system first. That is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it has to be done. We have plenty of iron, which should be absolutely perfect for the job. We are going to fill this all out with radiant pipes. So the pipes will have to flow this direction, then this direction, then one more down, and uh, I do not have the space for one more. So either we build everything one more block up, which I'm tempted to do, or one more block down at this point. But this is gonna prevent me from actually entering the contraption. Hmm. Yeah, stop building. We're actually gonna move everything one block up. Oh, guys, I'm gonna be right back once I have this uh, all sorted out. Alrighty, we are back and all done. As you can see, two tiles for filling up the chamber and then one tile to do the swiggly around part where there's hopefully going to be plenty of heat exchange. I also set up an additional automation wire that is going to influence this liquid vent in case we already accumulated enough petroleum and we want to stop the contraption. The volcano is going to erupt in 4.4 cycles. This is going to leave us enough time to initially fill up the contraption. I just want to set this to crude oil. And then I also already prepared the piping. So all we have to do is connect this like so. And then we should have some oil incoming. Now my hopes are that eventually we can get rid of this carbon dioxide by just filling this up with liquid. Theoretically that should work. But here we go. Oil is incoming. Absolutely wonderful. We also want to set this to the correct temperature. If we check the properties here, vaporization point is 399. 
we want to set it slightly higher. Let's say if we are above 405 degrees, then we want to open up the door. And until then, we want to gather up the heat. So heating up the first bit of oil is definitely going to take the longest. However, after that, we should maintain a certain amount of temperature. So it's not going to be quite as hard. I also went in there just very briefly in order to set up a block here. I was kind of afraid if we start filling up this tile, the magma is going to flow further and then we will end up with a solidified tile here, which would be bad. But there we go. Oil is now filling up rapidly. As soon as we have hit this liquid sensor, we should then stop this procedure. Now it looks as though we could use a little bit more food. Not sure what is happening at the moment, but we are not being quite as efficient with the food. Also looks like we have a little bit of an overcrowd issue going on here. Yeah, I think currently my rancher isn't really able to keep up with everything. That would be something we want to solve differently in the next save game. However, right now my focus is on this project. I simply want this to work. So we're gonna have to wait another three cycles to see that happen. There we go. The oil has reached the third tile, so the liquid vent has shut off. In this case, it's probably time to shut the door and let the sensor do its thing. And then another point of automation is gonna be a hydro sensor right there in order to detect a certain amount of petroleum and then we wanna stop the contraption. Hydro sensor is in place. I'm gonna leave it at above 500 kilograms. That's when it's gonna send a green signal shutting down this liquid vent. But now I'm gonna tune back in next once this minor volcano erupts. Hooray! It is almost the time. I really wonder if that is going to work the way I think it will. But there we go. We should now have another eruption and this should creep forward two more tiles. That would be absolutely magnificent if you did that. Wonderful. Okay, so that's now heating up rapidly and we should also see the temperature rising right here. Um, let's see. Yeah, these tiles are now being heated up quite quickly and now we're losing the heat within the magma. And I think the eruption is already over actually. But we have plenty of magma in both of these tiles, so this should last us for a little bit, hopefully in order to see at least a little bit of initial petroleum. Right now we are at a 160 degrees. This is actually going up rather quickly. Check this out. That's nice. Magma is going to freeze at 1400 degrees. It's 1546. And it seems as though the oil is heating up quicker than the magma can cool down in this case. I oh know, I had to take care of Joshua and now I missed it. But you can see, we produced some petroleum and it went up with no issues whatsoever. Ah, we're producing even more and therefore new oil is incoming. Now I hope this doesn't go too quickly. I, maybe I should have installed a filter gate so the liquid vent doesn't open up and close all the time. This is actually working much better than I anticipated. I first thought we would be using up much more magma. Okay, this is actually a little bit what I was afraid of, that we would have some oil spillage upstairs. I mean, this crude oil comes up a little bit too high for comfort. Uh, overall, it seems to be working. Okay, I think we will even see some spillage over here in this episode. I'm quite surprised about that, I have to admit. Oh, and look, that's what I was talking about. It is actually producing raw mineral and not a solidified tile and then new magma can move over. This is absolutely perfect. I love it. Maybe if I rebuild this, I would make it three wide. And I also would make sure we have a filter gate in between. That is not something I will be able to add. Yeah, that would be impossible to build. Ah, there we go. We have our first petroleum upstairs. Wonderful. Okay, looks like now we have to wait for the next eruption in order to get more magma in the joint. But we're now using the rest of the heat we accumulated. There we go. That's already looking much better. So now some of this oil can be preheated and you can already see the petroleum at this point is already at 79 degrees. So it cooled down quite a bit. And now we are actually below temperature. So we would have to wait another 11 cycles. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not quite as efficient as I just thought because of the magma we have to wait for. But eventually this is gonna dribble all the way down and accumulate right here, hopefully at a nice temperature and we should be able to pump it somewhere into a storage facility. Great stuff! Okay, now I'm gonna figure out how to get new seeds for my arbitrary so this contraption can run a little bit better as well and we shall see us in the next episode. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.